It's Weekend Update with Colin Jost and Michael Che. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Weekend Update. I'm Michael Che. And I'm Colin Jost. Well, guys, hi. <laughs> This was pretty crazy, uh, but look, it's not the end of the world, okay? Because this is the end of the world. <laughs> That's right, scientists basically published an obituary for the Earth this week, and people were like, yeah, but like, what does Taylor Swift think about it? <laughs> we don't really worry about climate change because it's too overwhelming and we're already in too deep. It's like if you owe your bookie a thousand dollars, you're like, okay, I gotta pay this dude back. But if you owe your bookie a million dollars, you're like, I guess I'm just gonna die. <laughs> That story has been stressing me out all week. I just keep asking myself, why don't I care about this? <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, I 100% believe in climate change, yet I'm willing to do absolutely nothing about it. I mean, we're all gonna lose the planet. We should be sad, right? Like, this whole episode should be like a telethon or something, but it's not. I think it's because they keep telling us we're gonna lose everything, and nobody cares about everything. People only care about some things. Like, if Fox News reported that in 2030, climate change is gonna take away all the flags and Confederate statues, <laughs> oh, there'd be recycling bins outside of every Cracker Barrel and Dick's Sporting Goods. <laughs> White dudes would learn how to recycle then. Black people already recycle good. Every container in my apartment is, used to be something else. But <laughs> you know how much more black people would care about the planet if you told us we was gonna lose Atlanta in 10 years? <laughs> black dudes would put windmills on their rims. <laughs> You want white women to care about the environment? Tell them that if they don't do something about climate change, we're gonna lose all the yarn. <laughs> white women love yarn. No more hats, no more scarves, no more of those ridiculous socks you knit for your dog. <laughs> yarn. In a new interview, Melania Trump changed her explanation for wearing the I really don't care do you jacket, saying she did it as a message to the liberal media. Then what was the message behind your African safari look? Was it a warning not to play Jumanji? <laughs> I mean, just admit that it was tone deaf. At this point, I'm surprised she didn't show up to the Kavanaugh hearing dressed as the St. Pauli girl. <laughs> a new report claims that Taylor Swift's Instagram post endorsing midterm candidates may have led to over 64,000 young people registering to vote, which is impressive until you remember that Wendy's got six million people to vote for which burger can get it. 